It's your boy Hi5 Vega, and today I'm here to show you the best component speakers you've never even heard of. Yeah, I just want to be the greatest. All right, here they are the best component speakers you've probably never heard of. This is Karma Mobile Audio. This is a small startup enthusiast company, much like myself with YouTube with The Wire. But I know these guys personally, Adam and Phil, are really great guys. And I think this is a fantastic set of speakers. Obviously, I'm gonna put these in the Trooper and see what I think about them You know, for a couple weeks before I come back with my final evaluation. But with all that being said, let's open the box up. Let's check them this out. This is the entry level set, the Aspect 6.1 component speakers. This set will cost you somewhere around $300. I will leave a link to how to contact these guys to purchase these speakers in the description below. They did give me this pair to review. Shout out to Adam and Phil for that. Now let's get into it. So you just have a really nice, simple speaker grill. If your installation calls for a speaker grill, it's nice to have one. You know, most people aren't gonna use this, but it's a nice touch to have. Now let's get to the goodness here. This is the Aspect 6, six and a half inch forearm mid bass driver. Nice rubber surround. And uh, it's just a nice looking speaker overall. This speaker is reminiscent of Oz Audio, if you remember them. They did not have all the fancy stuff to make it look super cool, but they had the stuff to make it sound good. And I think that's right where these are gonna land for us. And uh, I'm excited to see how these do mid bass wise. So I think this is two mounts in one. Obviously you have an angled mount here, which I like, and it's something I'm gonna use in the Trooper so I can get them up on the dash uh, without having any fuss about it. And it's nice to have, you, you get this with most sets. Also the original mount is just a pop-in flush mount. I do like the leads here. So this is a nice touch. The wires hanging off of some of these other component sets, you know, a lot of times they break and you have to go and repair them. It's kind of a pain. So having these wires like this, to me, it's a nice touch. You know, some of the bigger ones have the push buttons and those are nice as well, but that would make this much larger. Let's jump over into the specs. I'll show you what the specs are and uh, then I'll put them in the trooper and I'm gonna listen to them and see what I think about them. And I'll be back with my final thoughts. All right, I've got the Karma Aspects in. We're gonna get to a few sound demos. I did do a little bit of EQing a little bit of time alignment. It was slightly different than the setup I had in here before. So I think I got them sounding pretty good. It's not perfect, but they really, really sound good. Obviously I'm gonna have to use some royalty free music for y'all to check out. I listen to the tracks I like. Unfortunately, you guys can't hear those tracks cause you know how YouTube is, but I'll show you the speaker placement so you can see where they're at. And then uh, we'll get to a few demos. Got the tweeters in their angle pods up on the dash here. Something I didn't mention about these tweeter pods is you can have them at a steep angle or a shallow angle. Pretty nice to have, you know, so it's on both sides. And then of course in the door panels, we have the six and a halfs. Let's check out some demos. Let's see what you think it sounds like on this one. have seen the karma aspect in action what did you think let me know in the comments below but i'm going to give you some of my final thoughts now let's start with the mid woofer or mid bass whatever you want to call it there's a few things i like about it it has a kevlar cone it has a ultralight titanium bobbin it has rubber surrounds and i think all this stuff combined 
makes for a really nice smooth sounding mid-range but it also can give you a nice punchy bass it's not going to dig super low like some mid bass will tend to do or can do but i think it's perfect at that 80 hertz mid bass crossover point i honestly think that's where most people should be anyways and it's a nice driver for that range and while the mid bass itself is very impressive in my opinion the tweeter is where this set really shines it's a silk dome tweeter it's a roughly one and three quarters of an inch silk dome tweeter so it's rather big but if you can fit this tweeter this thing absolutely kills it it sounds incredible in my opinion and it punches well above the 200 an $80 price tag. You could spend almost two or $300 just on a set of tweeters and still be within arm's reach of this tweeter. That's how good I think the tweeter is. The transition from the mid-range to the tweeter on this set is absolutely incredible. I think these are a very well-matched pair. When you're listening to a component set, most often I think the thing that will come across the most if it's bad is the tweeter and this tweeter will not let you down. It's hard to explain how the tweeter or even the mid bass sounds without using a bunch of buzzwords like crisp, detailed, um, smooth, which I've already used some of those. So all that to say, this tweeter is every buzzword you can think of when it comes to tweeters that are good. That's it, that is my review of the Karma Aspect 6.1 component sets. What $300 component sets do you love the most? Let me know in the comments below. They do have an upgraded set called the Allure. I cannot wait to get my hands on those and review them for you. So be on the lookout for that. With all that being said, I will leave a link in the description below so you can get a hold of these guys and purchase them if you need some karma in your life. And friend, let me tell you, you do need some karma in your life. So I hope you did enjoy this video. I hope you enjoyed these type of videos in general. If you do like this type of stuff, hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. If you don't, hit that thumbs down, you know, just let me know what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong. And I hope to catch each and every one of you in the next video. I appreciate each and every one of my Patreon supporters, but a special shout out goes to six star or more members, 2001 Monolithic, Gene Nava, Joaquin Juarez, El Fuego Audio, Travis McClendon, Brandon Hanna, William Bird, Boxboy Audio Sound Solutions, Jesus Tires, Dennis Cromwell Jr., Scott Dilbeck, D. Stewart, Aaron Waltz, David Koslick, Scott McCord, Matthew Tolberg, Debo Bass, Corey D., Trucker9000, Bobby Burkett, Kevin Lautner, and the Car Audio Guy. For as little as $2 a month, you can join the team and get access to an exclusive Patreon-only podcast. So if you're interested in any of this, check me out at patreon.com slash high five vega so i want to show you guys a quick trick that i've been doing that i learned from dean who learned this from somebody else and uh, it's a cool little trick it's using the tiny desk concert it's uh it's good for you know kind of getting your imaging down and let me show you what i got here so i've got my phone up here with the concert and i will play it and then kind of see if all of the music is where it needs to be. So let me go ahead and play a little bit. <laughs> 